Time to get some new names on at championship court. 14 versus 19. Jaume Martinez Bick playing alongside Wyatt Stone. Facing off against Kyle Yates and Philip Locklear. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside Kyle McKenzie. And it's 14 versus 19. Kyle, which way do you think this might go? I think it's going to be a tight one. Um, I think, you know, obviously the most experience on the court is going to go to Kyle Yates. You know, a huge name in the pickleball world. Well thought to be the, the best player in the world for a long time prior to the tour and everything becoming, you know, a bit more pro professionalized, but still has plenty of game. Going to be playing with Philip Lockler, who has kind of a, a funkier, unconventional style, but can be very, very effective. He's had some really good wins this year. Uh, and then taking on Wyatt Stone and Jaume Martinez. -Vic. I had the pleasure of watching them play just a couple tournaments ago against uh, AJ Kohler and Riley Newman. Played them very respectably. We know Jaume's skills in singles he's still probably a better singles player right now than doubles in his career but he's very quick has some good hand speed getting better in doubles all the time and then Wyatt Stone I feel like is one of the more underrated uh, pros in the game hasn't had a consistent partner over the last year or so but has had some really good results with some different people especially in men's doubles so it should be a fun one to see how it plays out I mean, I, I'm excited for it well, Kyle Yates is ready to go, just 28 years old and one of the original kings of pickleball. Yeah, I remember when I, before I'd even picked up a pickleball paddle, as I was looking at YouTube videos, everything came up with Kyle Yates' name, like I said, thought to be really the OG, very much a veteran, even though he's just 28 years old. Yates playing that right side. Or oh, excuse me, the left side. Zero, zero, one. A little drive and crash right from Locklear right out of the gate. Puts a little bit more pressure on the volley. Looking for the speed up immediately. Looks like Yates and Locklear are playing straight up. Yeah, not uncommon in a newer partnership, kind of like we saw with uh, Decobar and De Villiers, as you feel each other out. You may not quite know who's going to be more comfortable and in, in which role yet. I like that ball, though, right up the line, finding the right hip. the same exact shot so early on seeing Locklear really trust the the thirds from Kyle Yates I'd like to see him assess maybe a little bit earlier in that transition zone in case it is high give himself a little bit more chance to play defense yeah. trying to cover I like the pressure off the edge though Nice use of spin there from Yates. You see how that was pushing, um, pushing Stone back just a little bit. Earned the error on the backhand. Wyatt Stone. Quick off the edge. Great earning. Yeah, flying through the air on that one. I think he had a little bit of hang time on that one there, Cameron. Right now it looks like Stone and Martinez Vic just having a little bit of a tough time trying to get themselves up to the kitchen line. Look for them to solidify their drop game. Yeah, and St um, Stone's touch just a little bit off here early. Expect him to right the ship as this match progresses.
Stone on the right side. Yeah, those are always a little bit easier. Off the let cord really opens that angle up and gives you plenty of time to execute. Trying to find the backhand punch is Kyle Yates. Yeah, trying to drive, immediately crash in, just couldn't quite catch up to that one. They continue to send that ball the direction of Stone on the return. Yeah, he's come out just a little bit more flat. Expect them to target him right now until he finds his game a little bit more. And there's that drive we've come to know from Xiaomi Martinez Bick. That one not finding any net love. Watch out, body shot. Kyle Yates. Yeah, beautiful little one-two combo for him. Got Martinez Vick stretched for the volley and sets himself up for an easy put away on the next one. Kyle Yates scrambling. Yeah, just a little bit late on that counter. Floated it just a touch. And again, Kyle Yates has been on the move laterally. Yeah, he's been in a scramble and more than one point. <laughs> it's working so far. Team has an early lead. A little frittata to get your morning started. It's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Stone very frustrated with himself. We've all been there, watched him play many times. He's very capable of bringing a much higher level, but first round match, it can be a, a slow start for a lot of us. Wyatt Stone, one of the more youthful on tour here for the Carvana PPA Tour. Originally out of New Brunfels, Texas. Great angle put away there by Yates, but it's the variety of Locklear getting them ahead with the lob that pushed their opponents off the line, helped them maintain that position right on the kitchen line. Yates and Locklear, 6-2. to two. And even that worked. <laughs> Might have been one step too far from Locklear, but he's able to get it right at Martinez, Vic. Not enough time to get out of the way, and it worked out for him. There's a good shot. Maybe that's the one. That's it. Get Stone going. And again, Locklear is committing all the way to the kitchen line every time Yates is hitting a third. So if Yates does leave that third up, he's really in a poor defensive position. I expect Stone and Martinez Vick to notice that and go at him when they can throughout this match. Getting out of the way, that's a good point construction from Wyatt Stone. You saw a really solid forehand roll. It was an aggressive dink that got them ahead in that last point. And another. I love watching the, we'll call it the triangle offense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when one player speeds it up and then their partner pinches in and kind of helps them as that fast hand battle ensues. Oh. 
We get to come up with terms here, offensive terms. I like it. I like it. Work in the triangle. It is work in the triangle, is, right? You speed up, and then next thing you know, your partner gets to finish. Okay, a little bit of life there for Martinez, Vic, and Stone winning the last couple of hand battles. Just down a couple now. And another nice shot from Wyatt Stone. Really nice choice by him. He recognized that Law Clear after he popped up that dink would be moving towards the middle. Was able to catch him with his feet still moving back behind him there. So uh, a raise in level from Wyatt Stone specifically. And they're right in game one down just one. Martinez, Bick, and Stone down at six to seven. They are surging back. is our specialty. Winning is his. Zane Navratil has won more than 40 pro gold medals in back-to-back -back Major League Pickleball titles. One of Pickleball's most iconic and decorated athletes teamed up with our world-class engineers with one goal in mind. Build a paddle that can dominate. The Zane Navratil Signature Paddle. Designed for champions by champions. Available now. Pro XR Pickleball. Innovation you can handle. Turning this game one into a close one. Six to seven here for the Vulcan Kansas City Open presented by Chicken and Pickle. A first round matchup between 14 and 19. Kyle Yates dropping that at the foot of Wyatt Stone. Yeah, again, he's been able to get a lot of errors by hitting a heavy ball with good placement low, but again, with a lot of top spin. So a timely timeout worked in their favor, earned two side outs right away. Looks like Yates is going to play the left. Looks like the, him and Locklear are going to use the stack. Good defense from Locklear. Yeah, great hands by him. Didn't have a lot of reaction time there, but kept his team ahead. Wyatt Stone pulls the trigger cross court. Yeah, perfect location right at the outside hip of Locklear. A lot of times those balls will go wide, but um, Stone able to get plenty of top spin and, and found the court there. Oh, that's maybe one of the toughest balls to have to decide on. The one that sits high, you're in the midcourt, you want to speed up, but at the same time, you know you should just be tossing that ball in as a reset. Yeah, you could tell that Yates had a few different shots kind of running through his mind there in a split second. Nice one-two combo there from Locklear. Locklear, former tennis player from Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington. That's a big point for Jaume. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yates was throwing the kitchen sink at him, mixing up his spins, sometimes using two hands, one hand backspin, top spin. But this game is about consistency, and Yates cracked first on that occasion. I like that. Kitchen sink at the kitchen line. <laughs> Very fitting. <laughs> Oh, he thought about it. Yates and Locklear continue to play aggressive on those fourth balls, not allowing Martinez, Vic, and Stone to get to the kitchen line. A body bag in the morning. <laughs> like, nice choice by Martinez, Vic, recognizing that even though that drop bounced, that the bounce was going to sit up enough for him to be aggressive and go right at Locklear. Quick side out for Martinez Vic and Wyatt Stone. Down again, just one. Stone and Martinez Vic have a heck of a cheerleader out there, too. I hope you all are catching that on the microphones as we are. it with an Ernie. Well-constructed point by him. That is very imaginative. And I hear some groans from the crowd. I'm not sure what the issue was. I think maybe a football violation on Kyle Yates. That ball taken away. Oh, wow. Maybe. I think he may have contacted the net post. Okay, all right. Well, the point is taken away. It's going to say, Kyle, though, don't worry. The highlight still remains. Just grab the footage because <laughs> we gave it to you. <laughs> Here's a look back at it. Let's see. Takes off. Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. Yep. So, yeah, Stepped was... on the line three times there, to be honest with you. Really nice counter by Yates there. Good lateral movement. He's able to take a step over with his left, get his body behind that backhand, and release it nicely. So Martinez, Bick, and Stone, 9-8. Yeah, nice attack right into the body of Martinez, Vic. Saw how the paddle was just a little bit late getting up. Stone on the left side. It's the second flying Ernie that he's had here in game one. Good time for it. Yeah, as soon as he started to find his rhythm, this game has completely shifted. Yes! Great location from Jaume. Yeah, again, if, if Yates is dropping to the, the Martinez Vic backhand, he's got to be careful not to have that bounce sit up. Martinez Vic very comfortable stepping into that two handed backhand and being aggressive. And another footfall called a second Ernie. Yeah, he's taken very away frustrated. from Yates. Very frustrated here. Oh, but yeah, yeah, that is the, the right foot actually on the takeoff. Yep, yep. He's looking down at his foot. He's like, I'm clear. But yeah, the takeoff well on the line. I think he might be video challenging here. Am I? Well, if he is, I think it's going to be a certainly a loss of the challenge and the timeout. We may actually just have a regular timeout being called to this point. So slowing the 10 to 8 mark here. Here's a look at it. Just that that right foot well on the line. Now, if you get both feet established when you make contact with the ball, you're allowed to take off on the line, but only had one foot um, after he landed, so a clear, clear fault there. 
So Martinez, Bick, and Stone, look at this. They are at game point. All of a sudden, the tables have turned. It was a slow start for them, but next thing you know, they have found their game. Well, we mentioned specifically Wyatt Stone, you know, made a lot of errors early, really struggled to find his game. But once he did, they really brought some good energy. And those two Ernie faults on Kyle Yates have really hurt their momentum and turned the tides to be a big advantage here with a game point for Martinez Vic and Wyatt Stone. With the finish, I didn't even think that ATP was going to be there. I was going to say great court recognition because I didn't think it was moving fast enough for it to open up, but he trusted it, waited till the last second. He only had a sliver, but that's all he needed to win game one with a beautiful ATP. A marvelous comeback by Martinez, Vic, and Wyatt Stone, and I'm pretty sure that's the cheerleader there for those two. He's helping them to a first game victory. Kansas City, Martinez, Bick, and Stone coming away with a game one win over Yates and Locklear. A couple updates from around the tournament as we have headed into the round of 16. Matt Wright and Ben Johns picked up their first round win. They will now face Ben Newell and Daniel De La Rosa. Eight and nine also moving on as well as four and 13. That would be Federico Stackstreet and Pablo Tea sitting pretty at that four seed. That's a nice position for them. Yeah, they've earned it. They've had a great year, a, a very consistent year. Haven't had a lot of bad losses and some definitely some standout tournaments as well. Hayden Patrick Quinn and Callan Dawson, the five seed in this, will now face Christian Alshon and Zane Navertil in the second round. Yeah, that should be a really good second round match. Yeah, one to watch out for. We saw Jay Devillier and Deco Barr in action. They face Thomas Wilson and the return of Pat Smith. He's healthy and back here in Kansas City. Yeah, he's really had a great last two or three tournaments. Him and Jay actually partnered together last tournament. So now the from friends to foes, as it happens so <laughs> often here on the Carvana PPA Tour. Martinez Bick pushing that wide. Nice attack by Yates right into the body of Stone. You saw how Stone was trying to slide, create a little space for that backhand punch, but just couldn't catch up to it. Yeah. Kyle 
creates a backhand from about three feet behind the kitchen line. And another good ball. That's not an easy location to have to find some offense from. As soon as you start to back off the kitchen line, the angles change so much. Yeah, and he didn't hit that counter that hard, but he did get the tip of his paddle up, which gave that counter the opportunity yeah. to have that nice downward trajectory. here in game two till maybe a little frustrated they let a lead slip away in that first game yeah Yates giving stone credit for that volley just too good he hit a very tight window going behind Yates as he was closing into the middle Yeah, nice spot again there by Stone, catching Locklear with his feet moving just a little bit there on the reset and transition. Martinez Bick. Yeah, he hit a good location outside the body of Locklear. He was committed with the backhand, but much tougher to do once it gets outside your body. Trying to drop to the direction of Kyle Yates here. Score remains 1-4. Vic had a good look at that backhand counter. But it'll be side out. Yates and Locklear still, still with the early lead here in game two. There's Martinez, Vic. It's hard because as much as you want to be able to chase the ball and maybe find the shot off the side of the court, sometimes it creates openings for the opponent. Yeah, these pros are so good at using angle, not always as a finisher, but as a setup to maybe put the next one away when you can get one opponent pushed out wide. And a cleanup by Martinez Vic. Yeah, Martinez Vic continuing to hit that right hip location of Locklear. He's really sitting heavy with the backhand punch. That's going to be a tougher location for him to hit effectively. You know, it's so funny. We haven't discussed Martinez Bick uh, in extent, and he's become such a household name here on the Carvana PPA Tour, but it wasn't long ago that all of a sudden we were talking about Zhao Mei going, who is this guy? <laughs> I was back at the Austin Onyx Open. He was a 25th seeded player, and he took down two top 10 seeds and really made a name for himself. His first medal came as a silver medal in singles to Ben Johns at the Selkirk Texas Open in June of 2023 as well. Yeah, I had actually just gotten back from a vacation with him and Tyson McGuffin. So I was able to watch Martinez Vic and Tyson play a lot of rec games. And I knew he had the level seeing how he fared against Tyson and rec. So it was a great breakout for him. I wasn't as surprised as maybe a lot of people yep. just because I had some <laughs> inside information there. He also took bronze back at the O-Snap Denver Open as well. So in the singles competition, he's done exceptionally well.
players bringing a high level there. Very fun point. That was some defense from Xiao Mei. <laughs> He's still smiling too. Yeah, it's always fun when you don't even really see the ball and you're like, how did I get that back? <laughs> how am I still in this point? Sadly, that doesn't happen often for me. <laughs> Tell me how it feels. You're being modest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stone may be reaching for one that he could have left for his partner there, but they'll try to bounce back here. 6-1, Yates and Locklear trying to send this to a third. They find an easy one you'll always accept a missed return yeah they'll definitely take those and it looked like martinez vic and stone had a little miscommunication about who was going to take which side there too so we'll see if they can clean that up i think jao may on the right looks pretty good yeah, tough <laughs> angle to find sometimes it's good to be a little bit late on your counter the angle opens up perfectly for you <laughs> I think that might be one of the toughest ATPs, not just from the standpoint of having to actually shape that ball completely in terms of a curve. Yeah, you really have to kind of hook around it, hit the outside edge of the ball. Maybe just a little bit too much pace on that last attempt there from Locklear. Seeing a lot of shots taken before the feet are solidified at the kitchen line. Yeah, it looked like he got his mind mixed up between countering and resetting. He kind of had his paddle in a resetting position, but still moving forward with his body. Locklear finds the ATP, but on the other side, the slicing ATP. Well, a very similar ball. He really had to wait, curl that around. But if you notice, he didn't hit it nearly as hard. Used it as a setup. Nice adjustment by him. Jumping for the overhead. I think that's Martinez what we call. <laughs> that's what we call a bait. Uh, <laughs> Martinez like leaving the line open, but very ready to jump for the counter. Good ball for Kyle Yates. He's been playing some of those hands battles about a foot off the kitchen line. Yeah, it's given him a little bit more time to take a bigger swing. He's continuing to move forward after he engages, but he's hitting a heavy enough ball that it's being effective at the moment. And it was mentioned earlier on the broadcast, the temps having fallen now just in about the upper 70s range it's a welcome sight not just because of the toll it takes on the athletes but also the style in which you're allowed to play we're seeing a lot more up tempo style today well yeah these athletes have to adjust they know they've played in different conditions they know that as the temps drop the ball gets a little bit harder and it lends itself to keeping points shorter or like you said just being more aggressive in general Yeah, certainly a dip in level here in this second game from Martinez Vic and Wyatt Stone. Yeah! But as soon as we set that last game, next thing you know, they came storming back. Kyle Yates is trying to close the book on game two, though. Yeah, that was a really tough counter because he was leaning middle. His feet were still moving and he still had the forearm strength to straighten out that backhand volley and go up the line with it. He had the first combination and had too much time. Didn't know where to send it. Yeah, he's been having success hitting that up the line spot on Locklear, but it's a tight window to find and push that one wide. Game number two to Yates and Locklear. So we are going to a third, a very lopsided score after the first. 
No, absolutely. You could see Kyle Yates specifically uh, got much more aggressive to start game two. Probably a little frustrated they let game one slip out of their fingers, but we are going three. Hi, I'm Rick Barry. I used to play professional basketball. Now I'm into pickleball. Performance is really important, but also recovery is actually just as important. L&D is a product that I use constantly before my matches and after my matches for my recovery. Great for inflammation, great for recovery. I keep coming back to this. L&D all day long, baby. I use it. 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 L&D Acute Relief Cream. Check this out. This is Venom Go by Hyperize. You stick this pod on this pad, and boom, instant relief wherever you need it. With nine different variations of heat and vibration, you can soothe your sore muscles instantly. The tight spot on your neck, that little knot on your back, that shoulder that always bugs you, and your tight calf after a ride, say bye-bye to the pain and soreness. Heating up six times faster than any other heating pad. Ooh, that's hot. It's designed to get you out and moving. What are you waiting for? To game three we go, the first of the day here on Championship Court for Men's Pro Doubles. Welcome back to Amazon Prime Video. I'm Cameron Irwin alongside Kyle McKenzie and Martinez, Bick, and Stone. Had a little bit of a struggle here in game number two. However, we saw them elevate their game in the first. So what will it take for them to get back on top? Well, they allowed Kyle Yates to dictate, you know, a lot, especially early in game two. I expect them to come out firing, maybe taking it to Yates and Locklear here early so that they're not caught on their heels. The first ball to Wyatt Stone. Yeah, nice job by him maximizing his lean there, snapping that wrist with a beautiful little backhand roll. Left up, it's hard reaching in, but maybe he would have had more opportunity off the bounce. Yeah, no, I think he just changed his mind. I think he was going to attack Kyle Yates at first, and then he decided to try a very aggressive cross court angle. Yates maybe just a little bit surprised by the bounce there. Yates working with more of a slice serve there, trying to put a different spin on the ball. Yeah, he has a lot of variety in his game, a very wide arsenal of shots at his disposal. For him, it's always been, can he grind and sometimes go away from the variety if needed in a certain matchup? Mentioned we wanted to see Martinez Vickenstone get a little more aggressive right on cue there with a beautiful shake and bake play. Fusion on that middle ball. Nice choice there by Yates to roll that right in the middle. Missed return and an easy point. Strong start, Martinez Bick and Stone. Talked 
talked about how many tools he has. Well, that one, interesting speed up. Yeah, a little step back, one-handed speed up. Tried to surprise Martinez, Vic. He was ready, but they still able to win the hand battle. power from Wyatt Stone. Yeah, some good initial pickups from Locklear, but popping one up in that transition zone, you're very vulnerable if you have to deal with a high ball from there. Nice location, taking the pace off and finding the sideline. Making Kyle Yates, Yates stretch here. No damage done for Martinez, Bick, and Stone. scramble but it's the next law by Locklear that gets the point for him that was the first one from Locklear you gotta love the contact there the fans sure did yeah Yates again using his top spin able to find the feet of Martinez Vic as he's in that transition zone out and actually get it behind Wyatt Stone. Taking a, a, a note out of uh, Hayden Patrick Wynn's book right there. Well, the finger wag and yeah, then the apology. Great, great technique. <laughs> impressive to watch the off-ball player get ready for those hands battles yeah right now uh, especially martinez vic anytime a drop bounces and sits up just a little bit not afraid at all of taking that right to lock clear when he's right at the kitchen line Volley's trusted his backhand punch and is able to win the exchange. Yeah. The dink winner. That, yeah, that hurts. Nice. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> He was going for one of those earlier and caught the tape, but saw the strategy there from Martinez, Vic, and Stone working that inside foot dink on Locklear. It's an awkward one with that backhand inside out from that position. A little bit of a stalemate here. Three to one, going back and forth. Too much whip on it. Yeah, I got awkwardly high for Locklear, and you can see how the wrist got released, kind of lost that strength in the shoulder just a little bit with the technique. Chicken wings. 
a great combo by Yates to get ahead in the point, but again, the hand speed and the reaction volleys from Martinez Vic and Wyatt Stone getting them out of trouble, and they've got a nice lead here now in game three. If you're Yates and Locklear, you have to try and find a different strategy because right now Martinez Vic and Stone have the five to one lead. Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. For muscle cramps and spasms, you need fast relief. TheraWorks Relief absorbs quickly with a safe, gentle, non-opioid formula without the mess or strong odor. So get back at it. TheraWorks. TheraWorks. TheraWorks works. Use TheraWorks every day to prevent muscle cramps and spasms. TheraWorks works. Try TheraWorks and get back at it. the forecast as these pros are trying to close out this game at number three five to one right now martinez bick and stone as they are trying to solidify themselves into the round of 16. Yeah. it looks like we're going to see law clear stay on the left they've been mixing up their formations we'll see if this one works out for them feel like a genius after you call a timeout and your <laughs> opponent misses their first shot. That's a good point. Or you walk away with a double side out. Exactly. <laughs> That's what they ordered. Big for them, not just to get a side out, but to get a quick one. See if they can build on it and score some more points. Easy to tell they were looking for the middle there. trouble with the net. That is an amazing ball from the baseline from Kyle Yates. And that is the advantage with Locklear running all the way up. When Yates plays an almost perfect drop, it just adds to the pressure that the opponents are feeling. Yeah, beautiful one-two combo from Locklear, but that wasn't enough. They still had to win a tough hand battle, but Yates up to the task. Sorry, this is messed up. I've got to just fix this for a second. Sorry. Referee timeout. Working on our score while they do. Okay, it's second serve. J.W. Johnson and Dylan With. Frazier are making quick work of the yeah. morning. They have already moved on to the quarterfinals. Yeah, they're a red-hot team, getting gold both the last two tournaments that they competed in. Another that has booked their ticket to the quarters is the four-seed Federico Staxrud and Pablo Tejas. Yeah, very decisive win over a good team in Stefan Avern and Brendan Long. Meanwhile, Ben and Matt still waiting to face off versus Ben Newell and Daniel De La Rosa. Fun look on the women's side of the draw, too. The number two seed, and I, I would be shocked to hear that this isn't true, but Megan Dizon 
probably the highest seating she's ever had in a Carvana PPA Tour, sitting at that number two spot as she's playing alongside Anna Bright. Cannot wait to see that duo. Yeah, she'd be a Time really in. fun team to watch. Anna Bright, such a good attack. But Megan is on so comfortable in those fast hand battles. Might be a nice complimentary pickleball between those two. Point. Which Megan Dazon does have a gender doubles title. It was alongside Etta Wright back in Utah. Four, five, two. Side out. Yeah, probably just a little bit too low on that last attack from Locklear. He tried to hit that flat Five, four, below one. the height of the net. Needed to lift that up probably with a little bit of spin. Second serve. A couple of missed drops Five, here four, from Stone. Two. Watch out as that glances just off the Point. head. Beautiful anticipation there by Locklear because Martinez Vic hit the location he was going for, but Locklear sliding over, getting his body behind that Point. punch to give himself just a little bit more power. That was a point. Everybody. Just wait. I just got... Turn your mic off. Again, just making sure our score is correct here. And it's been a nice adjustment by Yates and Locklear. Putting Locklear on the left, they were just in a little bit of a lull as a partnership. Um, and this is what it takes sometimes, you know, to get that energy spark to start game two. They put Yates on the left. It was working for them. The opponents adjusted. Now they've switched it, allowing Locklear to play that dominant side. And they've really closed the gap nicely here in this decisive third game. What are they playing for? That's the question. These two teams trying to make it to the round of 16. The winner will Four, five, face one. the number three seed, Julian Arnold and Riley Newman. Definitely doesn't get any easier as no. the matches progress. <laughs> Second serve. Don't mind the choice for Locklear to drive there. I think he's driving just to try to pressure the volley and get an easier drop, but you hate to miss those attempts wide. 4 5 2. I think Side Kyle out. Yates saw the opportunity, was just a half step behind it. 5 4 1. serve just sending that ball on the baseline well it wasn't clean contact but he will definitely take it especially at this stage in the match five four two both teams testing the middle right now on the dink almost bait balls continually coming side out stone frustrated didn't have a lot of time he tried to add a lot of spin there four five Maybe one would have been better off just kind of bunting that one back being a little safer Clear on Point. the left and showing he's got some hand speed. No, oh, absolutely. That backhand punch has been a big difference maker here in this third five, game. Five, it's helped one. them tie the score here. You know you want to be Second strike serve. first pickleball, but there's this balance that you have to continually find. Five, five, two. No damage done, though, as Yates and Locklear still have to serve. Good reach, great topspin. Yeah, and we talk about advantages and disadvantages with Locklear completely running all the way to the line. No. It'll enhance Yates' drop or drive if it's good, but really hurt it if it's high. 5-5-1. Five, five,
it's interesting to watch the dink locations Point. between Time these two teams. In. Really interesting as they've Six, gone five. middle. Ball will shift five. after two or three contacts back to the outside. I mean, it feels like it's hard to find the patterns here. Yeah, they're taking very little risk on the dink right now, really trying to set themselves up nicely for an advantage with those hand battles. to be a baller to buy like one with a power bid approval from guaranteed rate you can go head to head with cash offers and win call a guaranteed rate loan officer today pack all the things fly on your schedule yourself and the girls whenever stay or go when you wanna and more is on the way so when you're ready to go go with heart go with southwest Just a one-point game here for the Vulcan Kansas City Open presented by Chicken and Pickle. It's day three here on Amazon Prime Video and gender doubles. Well, that's on display. The women's draw also in effect. You can't wait to see some of those matchups take place. They'll soon begin their path to find out who will be on championship Sunday it will be a full day of coverage you're not going to want to miss all the action as we will be crowning a singles champion on both the men's and women's side as well as a mixed doubles champion and yet to be determined who will play in the final for gender doubles Yeah, we've seen a few misses on that two-handed kind of rolling drop from Martinez Vic Takes a lot of risk on that one. It's more of a singles motion, and you never want to miss those wide like you did just there. Jaume Martinez Bick, and it's so fun to watch these two going head to head right now against Kyle Yates or the fact that Philip Locklear they keep switching sides that has to create a tough dynamic in terms of finding those patterns still on the move was Wyatt Stone yeah trying to slide out of the way maybe just a little bit too upright with his posture there but a nice attack there by Locklear. The slide was well timed, but nonetheless, Philip Locklear puts another one through to the right side. And really fast hands from Locklear because Stone absolutely clocked that first counter, but Locklear again with the reaction volleys, keeping his team ahead. Philip Locklear is trying to close this thing out. Fast hands make a big, big difference in pro pickleball, and his hands are lightning quick at the moment. So why not go away from him? Make him dink. Well, exactly, and, and a very <laughs> aggressive dink there by Stone, taking the pace off by getting a lot of spin, dipping that down at the Locklear feet. Yates almost surprised right there that he came away with that. 8-7 now, the lead on the side of Yates and Locklear. Yeah, they were down 5-1 early, so nice bounce back from them. Put 
trolling coming across the center line. Yeah, you could see Stone trying to keep it away from Locklear, but good anticipation from him, really making his presence known over the last couple of minutes. Kyle Yates trying to do his own impression of Locklear on the last few points. I still think it's a good read by him. It looked like it was there. I like the instinct, just couldn't quite convert on that occasion. up trying to give himself enough time to react but the pace was just too little yeah and i think that's the problem if you're gonna speed up you don't want to be backing up at the same time because it puts you in a position where you can really just reset the next ball <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm sorry that's amazing just dropping back is wyatt stone as he's kind of chuckling stole one into the corner it wasn't his cleanest contact but his partner still got excited for him. <laughs> they don't care how they win points. They just need to get on the board here. Nine all in game three. It all comes down to execution over the next couple of minutes. And I like this. Uh, you have Martinez, Bick, okay, so and Stone nine, standing nine. at the baseline. Timeouts for nine apiece. And I love to see their body language. It's easy to feel pressure and be nervous here. It's nine all. They're both smiling. They're having a good time, appreciating the moment of getting the chance to play for a great crowd here on center court, loving the exposure, and they played well. It's been very entertaining. Yeah, no, it's it's really fun to get a chance to see 14 versus 19 too on championship court because it gives you a, a glimpse into not only what's been coming up in the ranks of pickleball, but what has already been here for an extended period of time with someone like Kyle Yates. You're really starting to see that veteran play starting to mesh with the youthfulness of someone like Wyatt Stone on the other side. Yeah, it's almost a bit of a changing of the guards in a way, but Kyle Yates still has plenty of game, oh, yeah. only 28 years old, so it gives an opportunity to see some new faces, some new skill sets, and talk about some different matchups and, and how they'll, um, no how they'll react to one another. Two timeouts. We mentioned we thought this would be a close one on paper, and it sure has been. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Time in. Nine, nine, two, one. I'm sorry, I'm going to recall this four. Nine, nine, one. What a gutsy shot from Kyle Yates. They didn't even have to serve. Yeah, very brave speed up, but he kept it very low to the net. Was able to get it through. No! Unlucky there from Locklear. A great read, good time to jump the kitchen, but couldn't quite get any help from the net as that pushes it wide. And you see the kitchen exchange is getting much more safe. Players really not wanting to make the error. Now match point. Interesting. I, Kyle Yates doing a little uh, toe tapping against the kitchen line there in the middle of the rally. Yeah, you saw the, the ooh and ah from the crowd, kind of distracted from the point for a yeah. second. Serve. So looking for a tie here are Yates and Locklear on the second serve. 9-10-2.
clear, ties the game, 10 all. Beautiful choice by him to run around, playing inside out, forehand. Martinez Vic expecting an attack, wasn't quite ready to move laterally there. 10 10 2. Must win by two. Side out. And a miss serve. You never want to miss your serve, but it really hurts late in a match like ten, this. Ten, one. Again, refusing to step off the kitchen line, almost trusting the tweener there, but 11, 10, puts himself 11. in a tough defensive position. Match point. Martinez Bick, his partner, and moving on to the next round. Talk about Wyatt Stone and his recovery in the first. And yeah, great sportsmanship from Yates and Locklear, smiling for their opponents. Always tough to lose matches like that, but they put on a show and we appreciate it. Happy? Well, just days ago, his old wheels gave out. But he knew Carvana had his back. That's because Carvana had tens of thousands of cars under $20,000. So Aaron's folks could help him out with a sweet ride. No way. Yes way. With the most cars under $20,000 and our car vending machines, we'll drive you happy at Carvana. the distance here on championship court it was a fun matchup between Jaume martinez pick wyatt stone kyle yates and philip locklear 12 10 in the third as we now get a chance to talk with our winners i'm cameron Irwin alongside kyle mckenzie and the two now on championship court it's wyatt stone and Jaume martinez pick congratulations to the both of you wyatt i'm going to start with you seemed like it took a little bit of time in game number one to find your rhythm what was the difference maker for the comeback in the first game yeah, I don't even think I uh, found my rhythm the whole match. We didn't, uh, at least I didn't play very good. I was pretty, I don't know why I was pretty tight, but I was pretty tight. Must have been Kyle, he's so pretty. But yeah, there was rain and everything, <laughs> so I'm glad me and Martinez Vic could uh, get, through the, get through the rain. So, Jaume, we've seen you have the success on the single side, but we've had the privilege of watching you in doubles a handful of times now. It seems like you're getting better all the time. and uh, You could tell that you and Wyatt just had some natural chemistry out there. You guys are having a good time. What is it about this partnership between the two of you guys that really works? Uh, well, the thing is, like, uh, as you know, like, I'm a pretty uh, late player, so I do have all the shots that, that I need, but uh, I don't have the strategies. Uh, Wyatt is, uh, is a player that has played way longer than me, so he, he does have 
what I'm missing. And and so that that helps me a lot to understand more the game when he does the right choices most of the time. So uh, it's great playing with him. <laughs> Most of the time, right? <laughs> yeah. When he finds it. his rhythm. Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> well, nonetheless, rhythm or not, you guys are moving on to the round of 16. So congratulations to the both of you. And Wyatt, just go loosen up, man. You're doing great. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as they move on, we are also uh, giving you a little bit of an update because the weather is coming. They mentioned that the rain's starting to fall here on Championship Court.